whole life changed. I'm sorry. I wasn't close to my father, and then he was gone. All you can think about is what wasn't resolved. Yeah, Alan was... was waiting. Emily said he tried to hold on, but uh, I didn't make it in time. I, ne I never even gave the guy a chance. That sounds like misplaced guilt. Well, it is what it is. Carly, a man who wanted to be a part of his son's life, and a son who treated him like uh, a stranger. Alan treated you like a walking tragedy. I, I'm sorry, I know he's gone, and I don't mean to speak ill of the dead. And I know he was devastated that he didn't have a close relationship with you, but the way he treated you after the accident, Jason, it was only natural for you to pull away. You can't blame yourself. I suspect that you have the wrong room. No. How are you feeling? I'm recovering from surgery. I don't know why I'm here. I do, actually. I, I owe you something. Um, an apology or maybe even... Yeah, an explanation. The way I treated you when you first came into town, especially when you were in the Metro Court lobby, I just... It's okay. It's okay. No, I don't, I don't know how to explain this. Adrenaline, I guess, sometimes does really strange things to people. And I didn't know whether or not I was going to live or if I was going to die. And now I've had time to think about it. And I just... I am really sorry for accusing you of being like your brother. Son, what you knew was what your eyes told you. Yeah, but you're not to blame for what your brother did. I convinced myself that I had left violence behind me. But I haven't. Come on, you had a moment of human weakness. And it wasn't intentional you are not your brother the way alan acted after my accident was about a father trying to hold on to his son the truth is alan could never stop grieving for his golden boy the a student who wanted to become a doctor and the fact that he couldn't let go of his disappointment was the real tragedy jason you did the best you could you may not have been the devoted son that Alan always wanted, but you never turned him away. You were always there, and you tried. All I know is it's... It's more difficult to be a parent than I ever imagined. You know, now that you figured it out, you can avoid making the same mistakes when you become a father. see Father Ruiz, right? Is, is everything okay? Yeah, I mean, the thing about being held hostage with someone is you kind of get to see who they really are, and he really isn't a bad person. He's just trying to put all the wrong he's done behind him, and I guess you can't blame him. I mean, anyone would really want to uh, do that. Well, sometimes it's you know, not that easy. Sometimes things stay with you forever. Choices you make that affect people's lives. I know you're hurting over Alan. I wasn't sure I should say anything to you or tell you this, but I, but I think it might be worse if your grandfather just springs it on you at the service. Okay, you lost, you lost me. Okay, I know, I'm sure he did. Edward wants me to work on you to help bring you back to the quarter mains. Even when he's grieving, Edward is 
I just think he loves you and he wants you near, and I probably shouldn't have said anything. No, I'm glad you did. Hold on, I'm gonna get rid of this. Hello? Seems to me that if you and Lucky are getting married again, there's no reason to moon over Jason. No, I'm sorry. That's that's going to be impossible. I have another commitment. Maybe another time. I just, uh, I, I guess I'm going to have to miss it. Okay, then. Miss what? There was some news magazine show. They wanted do a piece on the hostage crisis they saw my interview what do you want to do it well it's tomorrow in new york city i mean if you know if it's something you want to do no jason helen's funeral is tomorrow I mean, you already got a taste of what's going to happen there it was going to keep pressuring you to bring me back to no, the no I, I, I can handle oh, edward I, I know but it's not it's not fair to you it's not fair to edward he is grieving or maybe it's just better if i go along you know are you sure I'll be okay, I promise. I mean, you deserve to get credit for what you did. I guess I'll take the five o'clock shuttle. Okay. Well, maybe the six o'clock shuttle. I didn't realize it was so late. Maybe I should get you a watch or something. Oh, no. I prefer the early edge. Thank you. Um, well, I, I work in the hotel, and I knew that there was an access to the ledge on the second floor, and, um... I was just trying to help. I am not a hero. I just happen to be in the right place at the right time. Excuse me. Uh, mm -hmm. I was waiting for Monica, but I guess she's running late. Can you just tell her I stopped by? Of course I will. And I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. I guess we're going to be running into each other a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, Jason, I know I, I've said it before and I'll say it a million times more. I can't, I can't thank you enough. I, I don't know how to pretend you're not caring, my child. I know how to tell myself not to feel like your baby's father. I am not a hero. I just happen to be in the 